So the first recipe that I'm gonna do today is a pot roast. And um, definitely for the winter time, it's such a good recipe. Um, we're coming up on spring, but I figured just with the need for easy, quick recipes, this was a good one. So you start with your crock pot, of course. And what I love about a crock pot is it's one of those like throw it in, sit, set it and forget it. For today, I'm gonna use almost three pound shoulder roast. And the first thing I like to do is salt and pepper it. So I'm just gonna make sure I get a good bit of salt. Gonna pepper this side too. And then I am gonna turn it over and just make sure I get the other side. I'm being pretty generous with my salt just because it's such a big piece of meat. And when it's cooking for so long, you just wanna make sure that it has plenty of seasoning. I have just a little bag of rainbow carrots Obviously, you can use just the regular ones. I like the rainbow just for a little extra added color. It's really pretty um, once it's all done. I also have some of the little baby potatoes. If you don't have baby potatoes, you can just dice up a regular potato. These are the baby Yukon Golds. I like those the best. I think they have the best buttery flavor and um, they cook a little better to me. They get really... Um, nice and moist instead of like kind of starchy, powdery taste and chalky tasting. And then I also have half an onion. So what I suggest as far as the vegetables go is just to do what you know your family likes. I use a whole bag of carrots because Barrett likes carrots. I like carrots. I like the potatoes in it too. And usually I'm the only one that's going to eat the onion. So I only used a half an onion. If you know everybody in your family will eat the onion too, then I would do a whole one and maybe less of the others. And like I said before, it's really gonna depend on the size of your crock pot and the size of your roast. I have cooked them before where there's just not enough room for all the vegetables that I have prepared. So you just kind of throw it in and see. In a crock pot, you, you have a lot of leeway. They're very forgiving, so you don't have to be too exact. So I've salt and peppered my pot roast. I'm just gonna throw all my veggies in. You kind of sprinkle them on top. Let them fall over to the edge. Put my onion in. I'm gonna break it up a little bit. Put all that in. Put my carrots in. And then I have a packet of the crock pot mix. It's this one is savory pot roast seasoning mix. There's also um, a McCormick brand. I've used that before too. They're both really good. So you're just going to sprinkle that in on top of everything. And then I also have a ranch packet, which can't go wrong with ranch. So I'm gonna sprinkle that whole packet in too. And then I have about a cup of water and I'm just gonna pour that on top. Um, again, depending on the size of your roast, you might wanna do a little more water, a little less. And I'm also gonna sprinkle a little more salt and pepper on. And that's it. I am going to turn this on high because I want it done a little sooner. You can also do it on low. High is about four hours, low is seven, six, seven, eight, somewhere in there. I like to turn it about halfway through just to kind of mix up the vegetables and your gravy that's cooking in there. And then it's super easy to serve. You can serve it in this pot or pull everything out and put it in a pretty dish simple and I feel like this is kind of a family favorite. Um, you really can't go wrong with it. Most people are going to like this and makes it super easy on you. So I hope you enjoy.